Well, it's a couple days later. Let me just plug my camera in because the battery is already getting kind of weak on me. And I'm trying something new with this laptop. So as we saw in the previous episode, Windows 10 would not boot. It would get to this, it would get stuck on this logo screen and the spinning dots, uh, the spinning wheel of weight wouldn't even come up. And I, I think I figured out what was going wrong. The problem was the install was crashing on this because it would, I could turn caps lock on before the dots started or were supposed to start and then it crashed because it would just completely freeze up. So I, I, I now have a Windows 8 disk in the drive and we'll see if, oh my god, <laughs> and right as, I, as right as I was about to say, if this works, so help me god, it boots. So, it tur so if Windows, now this is Windows 8.0 though, so I don't know about 8.1, because I, I know Windows 10 is mostly based on 8.1, or at least the installer is. Let me zoom in on this. Yeah, so there we go, we've successfully booted into Windows 8. Well, the good news is I already got all the data off this computer, so I can wipe the hard drive because I have I got all the data I got all the data off of it. So let's go ahead and click next and see what happens. Yeah, there it is, Windows 8 install now. We have made it to the installer screen. Let's install now and see what happens. Setup is starting. Look at that. Oh my God. What? Let me turn this light out. There's too much glare. Way too much glare. Let me try turning the other light on. There we go. That's a million times better. It's a gray day here in Atlanta, so... Wow. Okay, product key time. Don't look! Look at the wall. I don't know. Hold on, I'll be right back. I just, gotta, I just gotta pause the camera to put in the product key. I'll be right back. Looks like the product key worked! Actually, I had that. The, I got that key because it was on. A, it was in a Word document on my laptop. I actually don't know if that key is used or not, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. Yes, I accept the EULA, and I totally read that. Yeah, the track point on this laptop's a little bit broken. I'm probably going to need to get a new keyboard. All right. Here we go. Here's our Windows 7 partition. I'm going to have to wipe it out because what's happening is, before I wipe it, I'll just explain the situation. After the second failed Windows 10 upgrade where it, got to, it was trying to display the screen that said we couldn't install Windows 10, because I unplugged the optical drive to see if that would get it to boot, I was going to plug the drive right back in, the external optical drive over, where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, it's now, it's now saying Windows cannot find the desktop, and I basically have a corrupt Windows 7 install. I can, however, boot in safe mode, but you know what? At this point, I really don't care, because, you know, I really don't care about that. I don't have any restore points to restore to, unfortunately. So I'm just going to do a clean install of Windows 8. So let's go ahead and just... So there's our Windows 7 install, and it's about to be fried. I'm just going to use the keyboard for this cuz yes yeah we'll just i'm just going to use the keyboard for this cuz okay so system reserve we are going to delete that too yes all right there it is let's install now and watch it crash okay we are installing windows I know my camera sucks, I need to get a new camera, but right now I can't afford a new camera. So I have to make do with what I have. Alright, it's a getting files ready for installation. Installation. Now while this is going, I'll explain what I'm going to do here with this installation of Windows 8. Don't worry, I backed up all my files before I did this. All my files are backed up to one of, to one of my external hard dr or flash drives. So... So all my documents that were on here are still there. They're just they're just backed up to a different location. Uh, the only thing is, though, I don't know about getting Office 2007 back on here because I do have several legitimate copies of Office 2007. But I don't know now that it's out of support. It's been out of support for almost two years. I don't know if Microsoft will still let you activate it. So that might be a so that might be a problem. But that might be a problem, but anyways, we'll go ahead and let this install and see if this actually works. 
I'm really curious, though, to see if Windows 8.1 will actually install on here. Because if Windows 8.1 installs and boots past the, install, past the uh, logo screen, then this machine should be able to run Windows 10. I don't know why it won't, though, because maybe people were, people, uh, I read, I did some research on this issue, and apparently some people were saying it was due to incompatible hardware. Well, I took the, because the internal wireless card in this laptop was dead, so I removed it, and I'm using a PCMCIA card, wireless card now. But we'll see if this even works with Windows 8. Anyways, I'll come back when the installation is closer to done. Okay, let me just readjust the camera here. We're back, and the installation is almost complete. We are at the out-of-box experience. So let's get set, let's start setting things up here. Let's start by choosing a color. Uh, I like red, so we'll, we'll choose red. And we'll call this P1610 L-PC. I know there's really no, there's no L in the model number, but I think I already have, all right. Oh, and it found my wireless adapter. Excellent. 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 Okay. But did it find my network? Let's see here. Is there a scroll bar? Yeah, there's a scroll bar. I'm going to sit in front of the camera here because I have to put in, I'm probably going to have to put in my password. Hey. Let's see here. God, this freaking thing. Yep, there's my network. Right there. We'll connect to this. Probably gonna ask, next is probably going to ask me for my password or passphrase. Yep, there it is. So, put that in. Oh, and it's actually showing the passphrase, so it's a good thing I'm sitting in front of the camera. There we go. Alright, now you can look. I'm done putting in my... Wi-Fi password. All right. Yeah, we'll use Express settings because why the hell not? Oh yeah, Microsoft account. The good thing about Windows 8.0 is it gives you the option to skip the Microsoft account right then and there. It's not like 8.1 where you have to click create an account and then put in your Microsoft account. Okay, sign in. Username Ben. I don't really need a password. I didn't have a password on here to begin with, so. I'll just, I just won't put a password for right now. We'll do that later. All right, finalizing your settings. Now, I, I think this is Windows 8.0. So, all right, what's it doing? While we're getting things ready, check out the new way to use Windows. Yeah, back in 2012, I'll tell a little story while it's setting up Windows here. Uh, back in 2012, and tw you know, 2011, 2012, when Windows 8 was get was pretty much brand new, and I, I I tested all the betas of Windows 8, including the release preview and the developer preview. And when Windows 8 first came out, I mean, a lot of people hated it because you know they got rid it got they got rid of the start button and replaced it with the charms bar, and uh, you know, the, and you had the start screen instead. Although, personally, I didn't really... I mean, Windows 8.0 I was not a fan of, and I only upgraded a couple of my PCs to eight, from Windows 7 to 8.0, but, you know, when 8.1 came out, I didn't think Windows 8 was all that bad. I mean, I, I just... <laughs> I didn't think it was that... I didn't think it was that as terrible as people said it was, and... Personally, if you ask my opinion whether I prefer Windows 8 or Windows 10, I prefer Windows 8, 8.1. I mean, 8.0 is, even 8.0, when I, when, when I started using 8.1, even 8.0 wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, so yeah, so that's, that's my little story, and I, I played with Windows 8 a lot when it first came out, and to be honest, I had a couple, I had, I think I had one... Let me just adjust the camera here. There we go. Uh, I had one 
tablet PC at my house. My, my dad's, I did a video of this way back in 2009, uh, an unboxing video. I don't think the video is public anymore. I think it's unlisted. But my dad had a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad X61 tablet laptop like this one. Well, not like this one, but it was a tablet PC like this. This is a tablet PC. And we put Windows 8.1, 8. Dot, no, Windows 8.0, sorry, Windows 8.0 on it. And it ran well. The only problem was some of the drivers didn't work. And, you know, but it wasn't anything critical. And the other thing was a lot of the gestures that you could do if you have a, like a resistive capa or capacitive touch screen or, you know, a regular touch screen, you couldn't do a lot of those gestures on, on, uh, hit, with, with, with only pen input. So, but this, and you know, this, this machine also only has pen input available, uh, but, but at least it's, at least it, it has some touch capabilities. The only thing I don't like about Windows 8, when you upgrade to 8.1, is it removes Windows Journal. I used to have a lot of fun uh, playing around um, in Windows Journal, just drawing stuff and taking notes, and I even used it in college a little bit uh, to take notes. Well, yeah, I even used it in some of my college classes to take notes. But then with Windows 8.1 and 10, they removed Windows Journal because apparently the files that the file extensions that it creates are a security risk apparently so yeah wasn't too happy about that but anyways it's installing my apps which this is going to take probably a couple hours judging by the speed of this pc so i will come back when we're at the desktop Okay, that took that, that actually didn't take very long. It didn't take very long to set up um, the apps and do the initial setup for Windows. Now it's just setting up personalized settings. And we should see the desktop momentarily. And for those who don't who, for those who are who weren't quite clear on what was happening when this machine Oh come on camera, I know you can focus. Uh, this camera, I swear, it just doesn't want to fo it just doesn't know how to focus with anything. That's why, if, that's why I'm hoping to start a Patreon page, so that way people can support me so I can buy a new camcorder. Because <laughs> right, this camcorder is a hunk of crap. But anyways, yeah, for those who were wondering about what Windows 7 was doing, because even though I didn't get it on video, uh, of course the footage got corrupted, uh, it would get to this screen here, a, black, a blank screen, and there would be a cursor, my cursor would appear, and then an error message would come up, and it would say, Windows cannot find C, blah, 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 Ben, desktop, and it would just say, and I'd click OK, and even though I wasn't able to, it wasn't able to find the desktop, I was able to do Control, Alt, Delete, and make Task Manager appear, and um, I was able, and I just couldn't, I just didn't know which process, though, was the one for the Windows 10. Okay, come on, camera, seriously? What is wrong with this damn camera? Come on, focus on the sunflowers. There we go. That's a background you certainly don't see much anymore. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I That brings back memories. Oh, it looks like it's going to the start screen. Now, hopefully the performance will improve when with some updates and whatnot. Okay, this camera is really pissing me off. There it goes. This camera, I told, like I said, I need a new, I need a new freaking camera, don't I? And there we go. There's our start screen. Let me get the pen, just to, let me get the uh, tablet's pen, just to see if we can actually control the computer with the pen. Oh wow, it's really unresponsive. Maybe installing Windows 8 on here was a really bad idea. Can we move the mouse? I think we're complete. Oh wait, no, there's the cursor. There's our cursor. <laughs> Maybe this is why Windows 10 didn't want to install. It just knew. No, I'm kidding. I, I'm, I'm a tech. I know better than to say things like that. But it's almost as if Windows 10 knew that it, that it would run so poorly on here that it just decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna fi the installation is just going to fail for no apparent reason. But if you're curious, we do not have pen input. Oh, wait. What's this? 
Oh wait, what do we have here? Oh, it's searching. I don't want to. I don't want to search. Damn you! Well, we lost our tablet PC functionality. That's just wonderful. How do I get out of this? <laughs> it's been a while since I've used Windows 8.0. Forgive me. All right, hold on. Let me just try not to be in front of the camera here. See if I can get out of this. All right, there we go. Can we, can we get to the desktop, please? Seriously, how do I, how do I get out of this? Do I hit the start? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, let's go to the desktop. There's the desktop. Why? I wonder why the pet. I wonder why the tablet driver isn't working. You'd think with Windows, with an operating system like Windows 8, it would pick up on the tablet functionality right out, out of the, off the bat. Is it even reporting that we have tablet function? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me try something. Let me check something here. Let's go to system. Is Windows activated? I don't see the little watermark in the corner that says Windows is not activated. I wonder if it out. And maybe it did automatically activate itself. That is one thing I do like about Windows 8 and 10 is how they'll automatically activate without you having to open the activation wizard and go through all that crap. Yeah, it's pretty sluggish, but this is to be expected because it's older hardware. It's a freaking Core Solo, and we all know how I feel about the Intel Core Solo processor. <laughs> the Intel Core Solo processor is the reason I've never had a girlfriend before. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll probably just do... This will probably the performance will probably improve when we do some Windows updates because it's probably still trying to configure stuff and I see the disk is thrashing so we definitely have a bit of a problem here but but I'm really concerned about how, why there's no tablet why the pen is not responding because that's sort of the whole point of a tablet PC is to be able to use a pen or stylus or your finger to be able to control the PC. So, let's see here. It did not detect the touch screen. Wow. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> that certainly is a problem that it didn't detect our it didn't even detect our tablet functionality. But at least Windows is activated as it's reporting down here. It says Windows is activated. So, it looks like my pro looks like that product key was never used. Interesting. And this is indeed just Windows 8.0, not 8.1, so... Alright, well, with that said, I'm going to do some updates. And hopefully it'll find a driver for, that, for the, for the uh, touch screen. So, until then, I'll see you guys later.